Hi Scorpio, welcome back. I did mention quite a few things in the general reading. You know, you had that wonderful ace, but it's something that you had to fight for, Scorpio. You might be feeling somewhat depleted, somewhat exhausted and or run down from this fight, determined to get to the bottom of something, um, and by the end receiving some sort of conclusion or absolution here. So let's dive straight in and see what's coming up for love, romance and relationships for the sign of Scorpio. What's coming up for love, romance, and relationships? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Magician, Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the King of Cups. Okay, there's definitely some sort of confrontation happening here. If you are dealing with a fire sign, I feel like with the Five of Wands, there is something that's coming to a head here, okay? This is a lack of cohesion. So there's definitely a few bumps in the road that will really impact your relationship in April. It's going to bring you a lot of clarity, though, is what I'm seeing here. An opportunity to loom away from the past to loom away from the dark ravens an opportunity to leave and pursue a happily ever after is what i'm seeing here for some of you so some of you may be confined um may be confined to a certain situation here that's no longer serving you purpose the five of ones there's there's too much ego there's too much hot-headedness in fact the two of you are going di different directions it's almost like you're distancing from someone here scorpio um this is what i'm feeling here what i can also see is that there's you've got two aces okay you had the ace of swords but now you also have the ace of pentacles there is a destined earth sign a taurus capricorn or virgo coming through here but i love what they what they can offer you um I almost want to say some of you might, I wouldn't use the word jeopardize Scorpio, but some of you, it's almost like you're purposely creating some sort of unnecessary drama with this person. The roles could be reversed. This person could be starting it with you, but I think they're coming in with quite an authentic energy, quite a pure energy. But in fact, one of you is wanting to start dramas, okay? It's almost like oppression or you're so quick to jump in and disagree with them, or they're so quick to jump in and disagree with you. So I guess I don't like this side to them. It might not be the earth sign or the air sign that's coming through, but if it is earth, I sense that this person is definitely someone quite serious. Um, I almost feel like for some of you, this, this person has previously encountered with the five of pentacles here, some sort of um, unhealthy relationship. I think they were dumped or left behind. They may be still grieving, you know, the king of cups, quite an emotional energy is here. So if you are dealing with an earth sign, I feel like this person is still grieving. Um, okay, that they're hopeful between something of you could be serious is what I'm seeing, okay, they mean the real deal, they're, they're, they're a person that likes to settle down, okay, they like to have relationships and they're definitely very interested in you, um, they could come with baggage, you know, there's a family unit card, so they could have a family, they could come with children, you could come with children, I mean, it's, 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 it's quite an extensive energy, um, but what I'm seeing here for some of you, if you are dealing with an Aries, just be careful because you may experience the, the horns of the Aries here. And I did mention that theme for you going into battle, locking horns with someone here. You know, you've got your, um, you know, you've got your pinsight as a Scorpio. Um, you know, you can sting. Maybe they haven't felt your sting here, but maybe you haven't felt their horns yet. Okay, so there's definitely clash of egos, alpha energy coming in, the need to be top dog, the need for dominance in a relationship here, or the need to be right. Now, it's not always the case that Aries doesn't always show his horns. In fact, he's sitting here on a stump here with the Magician card. So I see that you're, uh, this person is, uh, okay, I don't know if they're trying to make things happen. It's almost like this person is looking at a crystal ball and he's got his wind chimes behind him and a lantern. So he's trying to make things, he's trying to dazzle for you is what I'm seeing. Or she is trying to dazzle for you, uh, Scorpio, um, is what I'm seeing. But as I said, the Seven of Pentacles is things getting quite serious, okay? The need for growing up comes up. The growth of the tree here, things are ripe and ready. So there could be a little bit of emotional immaturity coming in, okay? Impulsiveness coming through between someone, um, between yourself and someone. Just because it's coming up as a seven of pentacles doesn't mean that it is from an earth sign. Um, what I love here is that six of swords moving away from something here that doesn't serve you purpose, okay? Going away from the dark ravens. There's someone that's still carrying animosity, Okay, the, the, the ravens here, um, the guardians of the tower, you know, what you associate a dark place with them, the mysterious birds. So I feel like someone is either continuing to be mysterious, whether it is you or an 
air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is still being somewhat mysterious or you're moving away from someone that just drains you, Scorpio. Um, there is someone here with their words. Their words are very powerful and they, they have some sort of influence over you. And what I'm seeing here is that you need to move away from this, okay? You need to come back to purity, self-love, and, and really question yourself whether you'll stay in this sort of situation here. Some of you are scared to move away, though, because you're deeply in love. The King of Cups is here, which is very much immersing yourself, immersing, immersing your emotions into someone. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. For those that are dealing with a water sign, I do see beautiful things between you. I absolutely do. Falling for each other, falling in love with each other's children, um, wanting a family, wanting those same goals together maybe. But what concerns me here is this Six of Swords. Some of you have an attachment. If this is you coming up as the Scorpio, some of you have an unhealthy attachment here. And you... I don't know why you, you can't move away for some reason here, Scorpio. So, look, I will leave it at that for love. Let's have a look at career and business. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Wow, three pages. There's definitely a lot of messages, a lot of middlemen coming through, okay? Those that are waiting some sort of correspondence. I feel with the pages here, there's a lot of messages. Sometimes the pages are seen as a little bit inexperienced. Um, I guess they're, they're in, in the courtly hierarchy, I suppose. They are seen as administration and secretarial duties. Um, I guess the, the, the smaller, the lighter duties, lighter duties, that need to be carried out. So I'm not sure if this is you or the tasks happening in the workplace. I see that a lot of loose ends need to be tied down and things that could have been done in the workplace or in the job, on the job, by people who aren't that skilled or experienced and they might, you might have to go back and recorrect some things is what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Um, so mishaps could happen. Not that the pages are um, not diligent. It's just that they they lack experience or maybe initiative. You do have a wonderful offer coming in very slowly here. Um, the promise of more money, the promise of a new career. Um, it's quite a profitable business transaction happening and it could involve an, air sign, an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. Um, if you're wondering about finances here, there is a battle for finances to overcome financial hardship and this will you will come out of it. Very, very slowly though, Scorpio, you'll need to be patient because the Knight of Pentacles is definitely very slow to act, but he can harbor and protect quite a bit of money here. So you need to trust that things will all work out, but you definitely need to manage your finances and make sure you don't drop the ball here because I'm not sure if this is you involved in a partnership, a, um, a collaboration, a business sense, if there's two people involved, one of which is yourself. The Three of Pentacles is about this juggling act and this top pentacle can fall very, very quickly. So sacrifices and finance in tasks are going to need to be made. I feel like some of you might be trying to prove yourself in the career sense um, for some reason. And I'm not sure if people are being promoted or demoted or it's a bit of a competition scene going on in the workplace. But I'm seeing that you're trying to juggle too much. Um, and it's going to overwhelm you, okay? So I'm wondering if you'll actually become one of these pages and just feel like you're overwhelmed by all these um, very small duties, but they will add up to a lot because you also have the Ten of Wands, which is you carrying quite a bit of a burden here. Um, you've got a lot of tasks, a lot of things to juggle. This could be three separate income streams. You did have the pages. There could be a lot of requests being made to you, a lot of minor requests, but they're actually going to amount to quite a fair bit, Scorpio. So please ensure you're taking your time and you don't rush the tasks. Patience is definitely going to need to be required and you need to talk through the tasks, okay? This is all about taking direction to a T, taking minutes, um, really establishing yourself a to-do list here because I do see you getting overwhelmed, especially where budgets, finances... And allocated money is concerned. But look, you do have the Page of Cups. Could be a Pisces coming in. A bit of fickle energy with the Page of Cups. But like I said, you do have the three pages. And they could represent... Um, you know, they represent different things individually. But I'm seeing it as a collective here in the work sphere. They could cause a bit of... Um, 
you know, a bit of miscommunication here with the Knight of Swords most prominently because this person isn't very set on what they want to do. They're not very clear. In fact, they, 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 they're very um, influenced by things around them here. Very influenced by people's words, people's opinions, people's attitudes. So there could be an air sign around you that you may struggle communication-wise with. And this may be the battle coming in. Maybe things come to a head between the two of you because this person, um, there's not a lot of confidence in this person, okay? At least not for this month. Page of Pentacles is good. You had the Page and the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Page of Pentacles is all about um, keeping a close eye on someone or something here. You might have to keep a close eye on finances. The Owl is here. The Owl is very observant, has great attention to detail. There could be an, an earth sign or a budget, you know, an asset that you need to look out for here. Um, I also feel like someone's observing you and how you react to things, okay? I feel as though if you have taken on quite a large load, okay, and maybe you in some, on some level you've changed your mind because you're coming up as the Page of Cups. And although you're seated here, Pisces energy can be quite fickle, but it's also a little bit mysterious. So... For some reason, I feel like someone's uh, is watching you because they're not really sure about you. I don't know why this is coming up, but I feel like they're watching you for a reason or they're watching you take on the tasks. You see that they've definitely got your uh, their eye on you, possibly reviewing you if you're coming up to like a probation thing, uh, Scorpio, but someone is definitely watching you. Um, I think they might want to uh, give you more tasks or give you something special. She holds a crystal in her hand and she sits on top of opportunity. This is a beautiful embellished stone with a pentacle in the middle. So, I mean, this person is in a high position, you know, they're elevated on the seat here. So although they're coming up as the page, they could be someone who has good connections or can put in a good word for you here Scorpio so maybe this person is doing you a favor maybe they want to help you or maybe they're just looking over and um, looking out for you here maybe they're protecting you and then you'll hear news okay maybe they might communicate something here to you that'll help you in the workplace in the career sense maybe they want to do good by you I, I don't see it as a malicious energy I think it's pretty it's pretty telling that someone's trying to have your back or maybe you know you've scratched their back and now they have to scratch yours maybe it's a, uh, like a reciprocity thing uh, for some of you Scorpio could be in April but I just say a lot of tasks need to be undertaken here okay it's it's a heavy burden it's uh, you, you do have a heavy workload is what I'm seeing. Pages, okay? You might be dealing with a lot of inexperienced people. You might be dealing with a lot of first-time customers and clients who don't really know their way around the business, around the online store, around the, the company that you work with. So it could be an element of frustration, okay? And maybe that's why you want to get things done with a sense of urgency. But the thing is, the more time you take with this client, with this employee, um, with this boss, the more patient you are, the more observant you are, the more willing you are, the more you'll see something good come of this. So I think that's just a gentle reminder for you that this will be required in the month of April. And then ultimately you can be crowned, you know, for all those battles, for all those struggles and frustrations that you may encounter, Scorpio, you will be crowned. So you will be rewarded and ultimately ending that month on a high. So look, I will leave it at that for April. Thank you so much.